Sagittarius, the Awakened Dreamer here, to give you a mid-month money career tarot reading for the month of September 2021. I do want to thank you so much for joining me, but I also want to remind you in this moment to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And so we're going to begin by pulling a couple messages from the Soul's Journey deck. And keep in mind as I do the initial shuffling that this is a mid-month money and career um, intuitive read for the sign of my lovely Sagittarius's. So take what resonates, leave it out for somebody else, and remember to check out the other placements within your chart for more messages. For my lovely Sages to begin for uh, mid-September money and career, you might find that you're just struggling to a certain extent within your work environment or when you're trying to accomplish work. Your mind might be drifting to other issues or other changes within your life. I'm going to pull the last one right from the top of the deck. Interesting. Forgiveness. I need to forgive um, other people in your life for financial choices they've made or decisions they've made to change things up. Or you may need to forgive yourself for slip ups you've made or changes um, you made that you maybe aren't too proud of when it comes to your career or certain financial choices you made in a recent past. But with pride, I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Um, I believe this one came up in Leo's reading, but we're going to pull, we're going to clarify each of these four cards further with two different tarot decks. Beginning, we're going to use the Tattoo Tarot deck. Beginning to connect with this deck, not 100%, but getting there. What do we have for Pride for Sagittarius? Money and career. The Hierophant. And so you just kind of uh, looking at your daily routine. Uh, being pushed by the universe to be proud of, you know, what you accomplish in a day. Feeling like you, a lot of you are very busy body oriented, um, task oriented. Feeling like you have a lot of to-dos on your list, a lot on your plate to accomplish. I need to feel proud of uh, what you set out, set your mind to, you know, to accomplish throughout a day. Feeling like it's more than just your work, right? It ties into your finances a lot or it's just to help other people in one way, shape or form. Feeling like you need to be proud of yourself for the amount that you expect yourself to do. Interesting. Didn't expect for that one to come out. And so to further clarify with the Light Sears Tarot deck. So I'm going to show shuffling for this. For Pride to further clarify. Being told to take them all. Wow, that's five. With the Devil, again, a lot of overworking yourself. A lot of people expecting a lot from you with the Seven of Wands. Feeling like at times you need more inner peace but don't know how to go about achieving that. Feeling a bit depleted or a bit lonely at times when you're trying to achieve everything or accomplish everything. Feeling like uh, things are a bit bland for you at times when it comes to your day-to-day -day career choice or choices or what you've invested your money in. But a huge focus as well in the second half of September on completion. You feeling a bit wounded or a bit burnt down, just a bit emotional when it comes to what you're working towards or just how much you're trying to accomplish. And at times thinking about giving birth to a new situation with the Empress, but not fully sure how to go about it or if it's even worth it for you in your particular situation. Some of you looking for a more simplistic career choice that brings in money or just uh, feels less draining all the meanwhile. Wow. Very interesting. All of those came out and then one from the tattoo deck. Feeling like there's maybe some conflict as well or it just feels like a never ending battle uh, to get to where you want to be. And then we have success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. And so this is obviously a good card to get for a money and career read, but for success for Sagittarius money and career. The Nine of Cups, it feels like you're sort of uh, thinking a lot about the success that you've achieved up until this point. Um, the Nine of Wands, again, feeling as if you're very just burnt out, you know, feeling like you've accomplished more than you needed to up until this point, and it feels a bit unnoticed, right? Um, feeling as if you're just kind of going through your Hall of Fame of successes, achievements, even failures, being very hard on yourself at times throughout the second half of the month. 
but then being pushed by the universe to be like, no, no, Sag, you have accomplished a lot, you know, and you're not done yet. A lot of you having a huge amount of success left for you um, down your path, your destined path, but just to not be so hard on yourself. Don't be so judgmental. Um, there's enough people around us that will judge and sort of um, do that for us. Don't add more on top of it. And it just feels like there's one huge success ahead for you or that you accomplished recently that's going to take a huge focus in what feels like the third week. Wow. And again, one card for that from the Light Seers to clarify further for success for Sag. Knight of Swords, only one for this one. And you just feeling motivated to go after something new or a change. Feeling at times you're very lonely once again or inclined to spend time alone right? It might be due to a hectic work environment or a lot to sort through within the categories of money and finance. But for some of you, it's you being sick of a job or sick of certain financial stresses or obligations and wanting to just run away from all of which, wanting to charge towards your alone time or just more simplicity. You're going to be reminded at certain points uh, throughout the second half of the month that running away from them doesn't uh, diminish them altogether, whatever it is for you or it. Um, feeling as if a lot of you feel your alone time is more simplistic, um, and it obviously is to a certain extent, but then feeling as if it's not as comforting as you would like it to be, feeling like you want to be surrounded by more people um, after you enter your hermit mode. Interesting. Um, and then we're going to move on to love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things, and love was definitely in the description of the success card. And so what do we have for this love card for Sag? You may get a bit emotional at certain points in the second half of the month due to all that you're trying to accomplish once again, or just, I don't know, people changing and growing around you. It doesn't feel very tied but with the star card, feeling as if you just have a lot of healing to do from the ups and downs you've dealt with within your career and finances. But with the Ace of Pentacles, feeling as if you're ready to invest in something new or start a new job or... Uh, start a new chapter within your finances however that, however that pertains to you feeling like at times you stumble on your words because of all the healing you need to do and the emotions the thoughts you know racing overthinking is definitely going to be a part of your second half of september but a reminder that you need to fall in love with the healing process fall back in love with yourself if need be and what you're working towards whether it's more simplicity more success financially or just a new level of success within your career uh, for some of you, again, it's a new job, but just allow yourself to love the process along the way. Be one with it and try to enjoy yourself, even if you're feeling a bit emotional, okay? It feels like you're very supported if you take the, take a moment to uh, look around. Seven of Swords. And it's this uh, feeling that you are kind of secretive when it comes to the emotions you're dealing with or the healing you're going through. The Ace of Pentacles again. Are some of you thinking about a new beginning or an ending within your finances or your career and not wanting to tell anybody or most people in your life feeling like it's kind of up to you to sort through it internally or just feeling as if people won't understand in what way shape or form wow this is very intense judgment i understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges and we definitely spoke upon um judgment earlier on in the reading but let's pull some tarot for this What do we have for judgment for Sag? Popping out, we have the Knight of Swords. Feeling very guarded, very defensive. Uh, with the Three of Cups, which is not colored in, which I find very strange. Um, you might find that it has a lot to do with friends, acquaintances, co-workers. Maybe family members, but I feel like it's more so the other categories. Um, I feel like a lot of judgment comes in from them, or... A specific two or three people um or is it they just are very opinionated when it comes to what you want to change and that's why you're feeling very secretive at this time or finding that there's somebody in, in your midst that's very secretive when it comes to their financial choices or their career choices interesting but feeling all the meanwhile you're just ready to charge towards um again more peace inner peace more, less conflict excuse me as my um, finger gets stuck um, or just a new situation one way, shape, or form when it comes to your money and career. And to wrap up this beautiful reading for the Judgment card from the Light Seer's Tarot deck. Two of Swords. 
And so even if you're keeping things quite secretive, uh, there's a need to sort of put your hands up and be like, it is what it is with two queens at the bottom, feeling a need to bring back that level of confidence or maintain it and just be like, things are gonna happen as they're meant to, right? And so I can't really stress about it to a certain extent and you just not knowing again how things are meant to unravel or just feeling once again that people are just noisy, opinionated and judgmental. All the meanwhile, you're still probably being a bit hard on yourself, uh, very judgmental on oneself when it comes to your decisions and choices moving forward. And allow for yourself to feel confident and to tune out those judgments and opinions if need be in order to confidently move towards in a mature and realistic way uh, towards what you deserve at this point in time when it comes to your money and career, okay? So I hope this reading was truly helpful. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I hope you have the most amazing rest of the month, and I'll see you next time. Bye, Sagittarius.